Here it is. The oldest jack-in-the-box ever discovered. The original jack-in-the-box. You think I'm scared of you? Not of me. But you should be afraid. Afraid of what? You have no idea. What is storytelling? Storytelling started with our indigenous people. Can anyone give me an example of a myth? Or a story they're afraid of? Lucas. What's going on? We found a part of a man in the woods today. Part of the man? I guess the other half was found in the mine. All oh, this has got to be an animal, right? No animal that I've ever seen. Something is going on with Lucas. These drawings belong to a student of mine. This is what was in the mine. It's a diabolical spirit. Excuse me, this is a myth. Well, for you, yeah. He's not your responsibility. He has no one. He is my responsibility. He'll come for me. He needs me. He's here.
I came all the way up here. There's nothing left. Please. There are people out there worth saving. <laughs> Hey, wait. We gotta try it. Try what? Calling the empty man. Who's the empty man? If you're on a bridge and you find a bottle, you blow into it and you think about the empty man. Oh, come on, Mandy. How old are you? Tell him the rest. On the first night, you hear him. And on the second night, you see him. And on the third night? Well, on the third night, he finds you. Squirming his way into your thoughts. Like a disease. <laughs> and his message is contagious. Doctor, nice big house like this. There is a ton of cash. We wait till they get back. They give us what we want. Prison. Nathan, don't do this. Give me the combination. Richard, no. We have to get into the hospital. The hospital is 30 miles away. I seriously doubt you could survive the journey. Oh, goodness. You don't look at all well. Please sit here and wait for the ambulance to arrive. Oh, we really must fumigate this place again soon. We're plagued by vermin. Every sort of pest. We have to get out. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I've told you a thousand times. Shoes off at the door! She needs to be punished. She'll ruin everything. Very well. If that's what you want. Where are you? Tell me what's going on. Just a few minutes more, and then a lovely long sleep. Go. 
time to go off script. We know there are other stories to tell, but we've never felt the pressure to push them out there until we feel like there is a great story to tell and that we have something that, again, will be a worthy entrance to the Conjuring universe. I'd like you all to sit quietly and close your eyes. I really wanted Conjuring 3 to get away from the haunted house setup of the first two Conjuring films. It should be more on a whole different level, something that we've never explored before in the Conjuring world. We wanted to keep our new story grounded in the feel of Conjuring movies, but we wanted to make sure we were telling a brand new story. And we think the Arnie Johnson story was something that really deserved a much closer look. As I got to the bottom of the stairs and I went to open the door, I don't remember anything from that point. The next thing I know, I was in a jail cell. And I said, what's going on here? And they say, well, you're being charged for murder. I said, well, what are you talking about? The trial of Arnie Cheyenne Johnson. This was an internationally renowned case, which was the first time in the history of law in the United States that yeah. That demonic possession was used as a reason for committing manslaughter. Do you think you'll be able to prove the existence of the devil in court? The truth doesn't require anyone to believe in it. You're in for a much different ride than you've been on in other Conjuring films. What's the point of a sequel if you can't outshine and outstory <laughs> and outheart the previous films? It just requires you to bring your A-plus game. When I was working with Michael Shavs on La Llorona, I saw a filmmaker that really gets these kind of films. It's bittersweet for me to pass the baton on. And action! But it's good to get a fresh take on where we can take the Conjuring universe. We're offering something very special with these films, and I think that's one of the reasons people keep coming back. The final reason, of course, is that people love to be scared. I don't know that anybody has crafted or created better scare sequences than James Wan, David Sandberg, Gary Doberman, Corin Hardy, John Leonetti, Michael Shavs. Guys, we're making Conjuring 3. It's going to be awesome. These are all people that really know what they're doing, and they do an incredible job crafting new and original scare sequences. That's really what people come back to see. Happy birthday! <laughs> it's your locket. Well, now it's you and me. I wish we were home, Dad. <laughs> What you've been missing, I knew deep down inside what really happened. I wish I could have stopped it. Beth? Mom, you're hurting me! Get inside. Wouldn't you?